Privacy on top of the governs. We were able to defeat the transformed turtle soldier in the ruins along the borders of Shimara and Aloria. Upon stepping back on the allied territory, we found a camp of Shimalan soldiers defeated by the hands of one man. Stepping from a tent was a man in gold and red armor with two blades strapped to his back, sheathed. General Wanak had made an appearance and gave us two options to join him and Koldar in taking down Mori Tai or deny their allegiance and do battle with him then and there. We of the purest fires chose to do battle, of course. Unfortunately, we weren't prepared for how powerful the general was. We realized it was a losing battle, so we attempted to escape. Renok floored me and cut off one of Ashina Rudy's arms. It was then, a portal emerged on the battlefield with spiritual creatures spewing from an energy made Tori gate. Lord Oshiro stepped from the portal, followed by Mizuno Amari and Omug. General Renok called out the Lord Oshiro to do battle against him, but Oshiro wouldn't follow for that taunt. Renok made his escape knowing that he would be unable to defeat Oshiro along with the Shimon Samurai at his back. Episode 88, A Brief Respite. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Taverns and Caverns, everyone. This is your Dungeon Master Haphazard DM. And last time on TNC, the purest fires were escaping the land of Aloria, trying to get back into friendly territory of Shimada. Unfortunately, when they reached the ruins, they found that the Shimaran samurai that they were supposed to meet were defeated by the turtle Yaksha creature from the Koldarians. And after fighting the turtle boss, our party came across a camp of Shimaran samurai that have been dispatched as well. And standing before them was General Renak. The party attempted to fight him momentarily before Roy was downed in one hit, if I remember correctly. And <laughs> after that, they realized this is not a fight we can win. So they attempted to escape, but General Renak was not having it. And he ended up using a special move that almost knocked down the rest of the party. Ashino Rudi lost her right arm in the battle. And I'm pretty sure Hota was also downed at one point. At least Hota's HP is at zero on the map right now. So I'm assuming he was down. with Ashina. <laughs> okay, so you were down with C with Ashina, that's right. And remember, before we continue where we left off, the party was saved by the Shimaran military. Lord Oshiro, Mizuno Omari, and Omog showed up along with a good chunk of samurai as backup. And General Nak attempted to force Lord Oshiro into a one-on-one -on -one duel. However, Oshiro was not having it, and he knew that fighting Renak one-on-one -on -one was a bad idea, even if he is buffed the hell and back by Mizuno Amari. He said, nah, we jump in this motherfucker. So General Renak pieced the fuck out, leaving the party there on the ground, sweating, breathing heavy, dishonored, <laughs> and, all, all, and everything you want to call it. But that's exactly where we left off. But I do want to remind you guys, the party, that remember... I almost forgot this when I was planning for the next couple of episodes. I almost forgot this. But when General Renak was speaking with you, he gave you two options that you could join him and the forces of Koldar in vanquishing Moritai and the Yaksha by basically, you know, promising your allegiance and swearing yourselves to Lord, or not Lord, but Emperor Ball. And option two was deny that option one and fight General Renak in battle, which you obviously you guys chose option two. But during that conversation, he did mention that he was following you guys since you left Tawny Fortress. And you all were a bit confused by that. But this is the part I almost forgot, that he mentioned you all left the cove with Ekidas and the Alorian refugees. And he mentioned that they all might potentially be already dead so you guys get the idea that they probably ransacked the cove you just don't know who survived or what happened with that so keep that in mind and we'll go ahead and start the show so after the battle you guys are obviously wounded unconscious and we're gonna do, do a quick little time skip here so everyone after that battle Lord Oshiro, Mizuno Omari, Omag, and the rest of the Shimaran military that showed up 
they take all of you back with them to the nearest territory or the for the nearest alliance fortress, which is Hinagata Keep, which if y'all remember, Akira's mentioned that is the closest fortress the alliance the the alliance holds that's near Hirai Forest, which is where you guys were technically heading anyways. So after that battle, you guys are transported to Hinagata Keep. You find yourselves being healed up and cured by the clerics and the priestess Mizuno Amari. So all of your HP will be to full. All your wounds are healed. Awesome. At least your physical wounds. I can't say your emotional wounds are healed. She can't heal those. Facts. <laughs> Sorry, Roy. I know you were down in one hit, but you know. Mm. Mm, shit. How's Ashina's arm? Mm. Apart for the course for Roy anyway. <laughs> Get the super glue, man. You get the super glue. Unfortunately, so I'm going to go ahead and just say, you know, while you guys are transported back to Hinagata Keep, obviously you're all wounded. The trip back takes a couple of days. And during those couple of days, you all don't necessarily get to speak with Ashino Ruri. She is de in decommissioned mode at the current time. She's obviously she's had her right arm cut off and she's been you know, being healed up as much as possible. And they're not going to be able to do all that much for her until you guys reach the keep. But we'll just say, you know, a couple of days of travel, you finally get to Hinagata Keep. And now that you have arrived at the keep, Lord Oshiro has given you guys the opportunity to relax for at least a couple of hours after arriving. But he is going to want to meet with you to debrief you about everything that happened at the ruins, as well as Tawny Fortress, because he's going to want to know everything. So we'll say a couple of hours have gone by. You guys are either relaxing or doing whatever you want to do at the Hinagata Keep. Hinagata Keep is a fairly decent-sized fortress. It's surrounded by high walls, and outside... Both inside and outside the walls, there are several merchant wagons, tents, camps set up. Many of the Shimaran merchants and even merchants from a faraway land of Mazugro, which is part of the alliance, even merchants from there are down here selling their wares. They, they have heard of what is going on on the western border of Shimara, and they want to not only help the Alliance defend against the Koldarians, but this is, you know, let's be real, wartime is good money-making time for certain people. So they're trying to get all the money they can as well. So if you want to do shopping, Roy, if there's anything you need to do to work on your armor or anything like that, now's the time to do so. But we'll say it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. You guys arrived at the Keep late last night, so we'll say you arrived at the Keep probably around 4 a.m., so you've had a couple of hours to rest and sleep a bit before waking up at 10 a.m. The fortress is bustling with several soldiers and samurai training, preparing themselves for the obvious possible assault from the western border. Now that's, you know, meal ruins and the Tawny Keep fortress soldiers are surrounding the Shimaran troops at the borders. So things are about to get real. You guys know that Lord Oshiro is going to call upon you guys fairly soon. But what are y'all doing at this current time? Or what would your characters be doing? Smoking. So you're smoking outside, Hota? <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he's uh He's got his pipe in his hand. He's already put some herbs in there. You don't know what the herbs are. <laughs> but they're in the pipe. <laughs> and that's what he's doing right now. Okay, so you're smoking. Omug is off. He's Omug is actually on the outside of Hinagata Keep. He's in the he's visiting the tents of the merchants and whatnot outside the walls. I mean, outside the walls are still safe as well, obviously, but uh, he's not with the party at this current time. Neither are the other NPCs. Um, you guys still have not seen Ashino Ruri since you know you arrived, and Lord Oshiro is currently in his quarters preparing to meet with you guys and. Mizuno Amari is doing whatever Mizuno Amari does. But what are the other three of you doing at this time while Hota is smoking outside? Uh, I want to uh, go buy some potions. You want to buy some potions? Yeah. All right. We'd be getting fucked up. <laughs> 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 All 
So, oh, we'll go ahead and say that due to your job at the Amiwa Ruins being botched, obviously, by the Koldarians and you being in Tani Fortress, you are all still going to get paid because obviously you guys did a job. You were supposed to wipe out the Yaksha at the Amiwa Ruins, but obviously that was not going to be a possibility after everything that happened. So we'll say that during the travel back to Hinagata Keep, you were paid. Uh, Mizuno Amari has paid you guys, uh, we'll say, a good chunk of change for everything you've done. So all of you go ahead and add a good, I'd say, 200 gold to your purses. Awesome. Bags. Everyone's got an additional 200 gold. So, Yome, you are walking out to buy some potions. You notice that many of the merchants that are selling potions to purifiers and civilians of the sorts are mostly set up outside the walls of Hinagata Keep. So outside the walls, again, there are several wagons and tents. It's, there's like a small town outside the keep of just merchants and, and people just living outside these walls trying to support the military. As you're walking around, go ahead and make me an investigation check. Let's see. Or you can, yeah, do an investigation check to see how well you can find a merchant. That will sell you potions. You rolled a 15. That's great. So you ask around and a couple of people point you in the right directions and they know who you are. They've heard rumors that you're one of the purifiers that were at the Amula ruins when that shit happened. And they're not trying to one up you or basically overcharge you they're not trying to do that to you at this time what they're like oh she's seen some shit yeah so they're mm -hmm. not going to try and swindle you because you have seen some shit you're able to find a reputable merchant but as you find a merchant you see there is a yeki just like you except unlike you being a fox yeki you see there is a monkey yeki he's got his long tail he's got these lanky arms and legs and he's he's hunched over counting gold in his hands as he is next to his tent and his wagon. And he looks over at you as you come by. He goes, he tilts his head. Ah, welcome, welcome. I've heard all about you, priestess. Hopefully what can I good. do for you? I heard you were at the Amila ruins. Yeah, I don't How'd really want to talk about it. Not well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I understand. It doesn't seem like Good things happen there. But what can a low merchant such as myself do for someone like you, my friend? I just need some healing potions. What kind are we looking for? Your standard ones or you want the super special ones? What's the super special one? Well, the super special ones are a tad bit better than the standard ones. So you can have yourself, you know, a superior healing potion if you would like versus a standard is that what you're looking for they're going to be a little bit more expensive because they do more and they are harder to make but they are definitely worth it how much do they go for let's see here well for you my friend superior potions are very are, are much rarer we have greater healing as well that's probably going to be more along the lines of a purifier's pay grade the superior Whoa. healing potions ah uh, that's gonna be about 400 gold a pop. What? Okay, what's the greater one? Greater is gonna cost you about 150 for one. Okay, we can roll with that. Greater healing potion heals for 4d4 plus 4. How many would you like? Would you say 150? Yes, 150. I'll do two. Alright, so you, he, he holds his hands out as he grabs two potions from his wagon and he just hands them to you. Thank that you. will be 300 gold, please. I appreciate your business. Is there anything else that I can do for you, ma'am? No, I'm broke. <laughs> oh, 300 gold. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's 44 plus 4. That could save someone's life. She's her whole paycheck. <laughs> yep. To save you. <laughs> you save me, you save Roy. <laughs> I'll save one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce said, you ain't saving me, you saving Roy. <laughs> all right anything else yome while you're there speaking with this merchant is there anything else um no he, the the yaki looks at you though hey before you get going 
from one Yeki to another. I know you're a fox Yeki and all, but and I'm a monkey Yeki, but we're still Yekis together. You know, followers brothers. of the Omni Kami, brothers and sisters. That's right. Tell me. In the Amiwa ruins, I know you said you didn't want to talk about it, but was it really overran by Yaksha? Overran doesn't begin to describe it. Well, well, how do you would you describe it? Ryan, that's the point. It's undescribable. Indescribable. That, his name's not Ryan. My name's not Ryan. <laughs> My name is Yo Yo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, there was more than anyone could count. That's a lot of yaksha. Were they all like, you know, common looking yaksha? Were they? It's a like, great question. Probably. Mm. Were they messed up looking? I don't remember. They were the rat yaksha. Well, they weren't like, that's not that uncommon, right? You know? And that there was one a monstrosity. That can, yeah, that could distort yeah. Well, time yep, and shit. Yep. There was that, that one. That was the crazy one. But the ones that were like everywhere were like normal ones. Right? Yeah, the rat ones. Yeah. Okay. So. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast and just had no clue on where to begin? Fear not, for we at Taverns and Caverns are here to help you. Before we began the Taverns and Caverns podcast, we originally had a few members who wanted to learn the game of Dungeons and Dragons. With three of the four players being new to the game, we decided to make a podcast of it just for fun and to possibly encourage others to try the game for themselves. Starting a podcast can seem daunting, but we're here to tell you that it can be simple with an all-in-one tool. It's now super easy to record a podcast with Zencaster. Log in using your browser and start recording a high quality podcast right away. Record studio quality sound and up to 4K video with your guests. Feel a sense of Zen knowing Zencaster's multi-layered backups ensure you always have your recordings in the highest quality, even if the connection is unstable. If you have thought about podcasting before and realized that you need a lot of different tools and services, those days are now over, my friend. With Zencaster's all-in-one podcasting platform, you can create your podcast all in one place and distribute to Spotify, Apple, and other major destinations. Go to Zencaster.com slash pricing and use my code TAVERNSCAVERNS and you'll get 30% off your first month of any Zencaster paid plan. I want you to have the same easy experience as I do for all my podcasting and content needs. It's time to share your story. And with that, let us continue our campaign. This man can't handle the one that can distort time. <laughs> Yo-Yo can't handle that. That's, that's, that's pure fire information. We don't want to cause... No, <laughs> Yo-Yo can't handle that. <laughs> he looks at you We don't want to cause a panic. Right. Okay, okay, I understand. You can't tell me too much. Purifier confidentiality, keeping the public at bay, not freaking out the public. I understand. I was just curious. That's all because I've heard some crazy rumors. Like crazy rumors. What have you heard? <laughs> oh, all sorts of things. I what heard kinds that of things? I've heard the ruins were attacked by crazy large lizard Yaksha. I heard there was a Yaksha as big as the buildings. Like a like a Titan Yaksha. I've heard oh, so God, many no. different things. Talking about Gojira? Who? Talking about Godzilla, brother? No. <laughs> no. Why did you get <laughs> I don't want no Titan Yaksha. <laughs> no, thanks. Please no. But I also heard that he looks back and forth between the two of us. One of the rumors I heard was Kodarians were there. Is that true? I haven't heard that rumor. Oh, it is quite the rumor. Would it make sense for there to be Koldarians that far into our territory? That's pretty far from the borders. A good couple of days. And with the military along the borders, there's no way they would be able to get by without being How would they spotted. even get in there? That's right. That's what I'm saying. It's a crazy right. rumor. But some of these days, some of the rumors you hear can be true, despite them being crazy. I do travel a lot, and I hear a lot of things, and I see a lot of things. Well, that's crazy. I've never heard that. So, <laughs> mm. All right, then. This <laughs> mug got too much move in there, Sugar Knight. <laughs> he got too much mouth. Where, Sugar Knight? <laughs> Take the chat away from Ota. Ota. What? Ota smoking that pipe. <laughs> it's just more, even worse because it doesn't say Rob. It has a picture of Hota Lube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it says Hota Lube and then that fucking comment. <laughs> <laughs> 
Damn, so, he asked too much questions, man. I'm like, man, I'm not what's talking about monkey. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know where his alliance is like. Just because he's a monkey, I like, yeah, don't mean shit, brother. He's just rubbing <laughs> his chin with his with his lanky hand. He's like, all right, all right. I'm just, you know, from one yaki to the other. Just, I'm trying to prepare myself for the worst. If Kodarians are in Shimada. That's, I might be heading to Mizuguro next. It's dangerous here, you know? After how quickly Kodar was able to take Aloria. Who knows? The safest place might be in Shador to the north. I might have to leave the mainlands and go to the 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 the, the, the land of the centaur, the, the, the Kenkai. And you know your geography. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like reading a map right now to I me. Oh, the, 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 the Shador, <laughs> the Shador Kankai and, and the lands of Shador. It's to the north. I might have to go there if Koldarian's already in Shimara. Zugro might yo, be next. Yome didn't finish uh, geography. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn. Uh, she is from Ina Isles. So. Well, what's up, this man? I don't know. Are you calling her Country Country Bumpkin? Bumpkin? Yes, I am. Damn, Bumpkin. <laughs> Jeez. Well, he looks at you. All right, all right. Well, I won't ask any more questions. I understand. All I'm saying is I'd be way more worried about that general because that man was too close. The general? Which what, general? They know about that. They know about that. Which general right? are you talking about? What are you? Ugh. Ugh. Why do you sound like that? Ugh. They would all know. They would all know about that general that just fucked us up, right? He wouldn't. He wasn't there. You guys just be, got back. They know that shit. You know everyone been talking about that shit. Don't tell me oh, they man, don't know that. You don't know if he knows it or not. He's rubbing his chin. Which general are you talking about? I'm just saying I'd beware of the general. Okay. All Period. right. Beware of the general. All right. Well, you well, sounded greasy right now, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, shady ass motherfucker. I thought, give me out this conversation. I thought he was. I should have tried to negotiate these potions. I thought I was going to deal because Ryan's like, they're all going to be nice to you and shit. Right. You should have went alone. <laughs> mm. No, they are being nice. He's not trying to swindle. He's not overcharging you. Trying to get something out of me. Information. Right. Right. Information. Yeah. Sometimes information is important in a world like this. You right. never know. Whatever. Mm. Yeah, hey, information. Know. Information and knowledge is power, man. <laughs> Just ask Littlefinger. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he goes, all right. Well, I appreciate your business. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day now, priestess. He goes back to counting his gold. That was an experience. <laughs> while while you're walking around doing that, what are both Roy and Stella currently doing? Roy is going to look for another smithy. He's going to look for a shield after he was repairing his armor. Try to incorporate that into his armor a little bit. You realize right. that it's not enough. <laughs> so whatever you do to do that, just know that this fortress, Hinagata Keep, does have the supplies you're going to need mm -hmm. to do whatever you want to do in terms of, you know, basic repair, basic construction of your armor. So we'll say you, you're able to have what you need to do that. Oh, also, he wants to see if anyone has any idea about one of the purple crystals he found. So he's going to kind of ask about that, see if it has any properties to it. Okay. So make me, I'd say, an investigation check to see if you can find someone that might know more about the Arcana, possibly. Okay. Maybe even an alchemist of sorts. That's right. You 17. took one of those from uh, Tawny Fortress. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. 17. So the 17, you're asking around. You, you speak to some of the soldiers, and you, you, you've told some of the, the military men there of what you found. You're trying to speak to someone. And they take you to one of the... I want to say wizards and arcana specialists in the fortress. And when you go meet with this arcana specialist, you see she is currently studying some alchemy as well as performing some magical, I don't want to say tricks, but magical signs with her hands as she's studying some of this alchemy. But you come across her and she is a human and she looks at you. Uh, what can I do for you, 
Roy Royce. I've heard much about you and your team's accomplishments. Roy bows and he will present the purple crystal and was wondering if you could uh, tell me if you know anything about this. Does this have any magical properties or it looks, anything strange about this? It looks down at the crystal that you took from the fortress and she holds her hand out here. Let's me take a look. And as you give her the crystal, she looks down at it. And I'm going to make a roll for her on Arcana. As she's studying the crystal, she looks at you. You said you took this from Tawny Fortress, correct? Yes. Was this the only one? Were there several of these? And what what kind of room did you take this from? What, what was near it? There... there was some, like, lab. There was all kinds of crystals around these machines. And this... My friend is there is a hint of arcana attached to it, but not anything dangerous by any means. Nothing that's going to set anything off. A very small hint of arcana is attached to it, possibly some residue of whatever was happening in that room. These crystals, though, are not used in any type of alchemy or, or, or experiments that I can think of, but. What else was happening in that room? You said there were machines. What, what were these machines doing? Do you know? Well, Roy will look around to see if anyone else is around or listening. Make me Voice. a perception. Oh, Not 20. Damn. <laughs> so, Roy, as you're looking around and listening, you do notice there is a movement off in the distance where the door was where you entered. Someone scurried by it. That's all you. It could have been just someone walking by. It's just when you turn to look, you just see the the feet walking by. Yeah. He'll lean in and whisper. They were used in any uh, experiments, changing people into Yaksha. What did you say? You heard right. Who is they? The Koldarians? Yes. She rubs her chin for a moment as she looks down at the crystal again. Turning people into Yaksha. Now They had Chioga. She she kind of is taken aback by that statement. She looks at you. You're Roy's lying. telling all the secrets. <laughs> all the tea, bitch. <laughs> what in the fuck? He that little kid that go to school for no reason. My mom wearing a wig. <laughs> 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 she she is taken aback by her statement. She goes, No, that's just a rumor. Do you have proof? Uh, Crystal was a proof. Uh the only did thing- we did we end up taking that head? Of that one snapping turtle. Uh-huh. Okay. Guess who has it? He Mwah. will. <laughs> he will mention the head <laughs> of that Yaksha or the snapping turtle beast. So you tell her that Hota has it. Mm-hmm. He really is spilling the beans, ain't he, guys? <laughs> he feels like it. So, the soldiers let him let him there, so he felt like it's someone he could trust. He he. She looks at him, and she takes the crystal. She places it on her desk. You'll be here for at least what a couple more hours. I don't know how busy you are, Roy Royce, but this is serious news. That if you're telling me they have to yoga and they're turning people into yaksha, I'm gonna have to really study this crystal. Would you mind if you left it here with me? For me to study. Truthfully, I can't tell you what this crystal does or what it was used for in whatever experiments they were doing down at the Tawny Fortress, but it does have a small essence residue of arcana. If I can track down the type of arcana that is on this crystal, I may be able to figure out what they were doing with it. This Hota Lube, your your partner, your, your fellow purifier, you say he has the head of one of the Poldarian soldiers that turned Yaksha. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Mm. Next time you speak with him, tell him to bring that head to me as well. I, I sure will. I appreciate you bringing this to my attention. Perhaps this may help us understand a bit more of how the Koldarians are powering their soldiers. If they're turning people into Yaksha, this makes sense with how the soldiers from there are turning into these beasts on the battlefield 
This may help us give this may help give us the upper hand in understanding their powers. But give me some time. I will study this and I will let you know next time I see you. Oh, can I ask for a favor? Yes. Depending on what it is. Is there any type of scrolls, any, anything of that nature for teleportation circles? I had an idea and I was just wondering if I could learn more about them, see if I can get this idea of mine to work. You want a scroll that can perform the spell of teleportation with a teleportation circle? Is that what you're asking? Or just something to teach me possibly how to do it. Teleportation is no easy task, my friend. That is something only the highest level, highest skilled wizards and monks and priests can cast here in Shimada. That's not something I can personally do. The closest one here in Hinagata Keep at the time that may be able to answer that question for you is the head priestess of Kaori Shrine, Mizuno Amari herself. She has obviously dealt with teleportation. She would be the best person to ask, my friend. I'm sorry, I don't really study the ways of teleportation. Thank you. He bows again, and he will leave. Okay. As you leave, well, let's move on to Stella. What is Stella doing at this time? Mm, Stella has a lot of emotions. It's been a really loaded 24 hours or so. Mm-hmm. She's pacing back and forth, breathing hard. Her fists are balled up. Fuck a nap. He can suck it down. I'm gonna pull the Glock and take a shot. Hold up. This sucks. I mean, he's truly the pits. He lost Big Wedge. Half of his Sheena. Tepe. Legs, what if, arms. What, yeah. What if word gets out about our crew running away? And we're not. I'm having Tioga. Them raiding the fucking Airbnb we were at. It's I still wild. hope that didn't happen. I'm sure it did. That bastard. He wouldn't just stop there. I really want to go back and check and see if they're all right. It's risky. And we're down a member. Granted, we've got a mug back, but... Yeah, I gotta keep... I gotta make sure I don't do any, you know, arm jokes. Uh, lend me a hand. Uh, let me extend an arm to you. Can't do any of those jokes with all the Sheena there. I don't think she'll appreciate it. I don't think she cares to hear any jokes right now. No, oh, she likes me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she just said, mm. Mm. Fair enough. Mm. Yummy and Roy have been gone a while. I said we'll take a little walk, see what's happening. Mm. Yeah, I can stand to get some fresh air. Near right ride on my shoulder? Him. Nope. Oh, fair enough. He's going to walk around, see if he spots anybody. We'll say, as the two of you are about to or start walking around, you start heading towards the gates of the keep to go to the outskirts, and you see Yome coming back around this time. And as she's also coming back, you see Roy coming out of one of the buildings inside the walls of Hinagata Keep. And they both see you like in the main courtyard of the fortress at the gates. No Omug or Mizuno Amari or anyone like that. But as Yome and... Why are you keeping Omug from us? He is gonna make... He'll show up. Calm down. Now I kind of miss my Omug now. Uh, that's <laughs> where's, okay. We don't where's my Omug? Omug? Oh, you need Omug. what do you mean? What? what do you mean? Where's Omug? <laughs> what have you done with him? <laughs> what have you done with him? <laughs> but as the four of you meet each other at the gates, one of the soldiers comes walking towards the four of you. And you see the samurai. He... <clears throat> Purifiers, Lord Oshiro demands your presence at his office right away. And he points towards the central building of the keep. You will find him there. Waste no time now, purifiers. Oh, keep your voice down. Can't you say we have a headache? All of us. My apologies. Mm. But Lord Oshiro demands your presence immediately. Uh, yes, we got it. Uh, fair enough. Where is he at? One again? That building there. Follow me. Ah, uh, fair. <laughs> and he, he leads the four of you to his office where he opens the door. And as you guys step into Lord Oshiro's office here at Hinagata Keep, you can see he has his armor is set up on a mannequin or an armor stand or whatever you want to call them. And he's sitting at his desk and he's reading through some paperwork. 
And he looks up at you all as you step in. And the soldier that led you there, he slowly shuts the door behind the four of you. And Lord Oshiro just leans back. He looks up at the four of you as he waves his hand forward. Ah, purifiers, sit. Welcome, please. Have a seat. I have called you here today because I have to debrief you and discuss with you what happened at the Mule Ruins. There is plenty, I'm sure, that you want to tell me. And do not hide anything from me. We need to know everything that happened. Now, please, have a seat and have some tea, if you would like. He has several cups with tea sitting there for you to pour, if you'd like some. Oh, just going to tap his herbs out of his pipe outside and then stash it away before coming in. <laughs> he learned <laughs> his lesson. Yeah, he did that the first episode. Yep. Yep. Smoked on his floor. Yeah, he did. So he learns. Mm-hmm. So as the four of you sit, he looks at you. So tell me what happened at the Mule Ruins after you were sent there and met with our allies. What went down at the Mule Ruins? Leave no detail behind. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh. Rats. Lots of rats. Yeah, that. Blurry monstrosity. Yeah, that too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, they took you, Tioga. Yeah, and teleportation circles and human experimentation. And... Wait, Look, wait, the wait. place went the hell fast. Well, I know, it was more than we can count. Yeah. The place was swarming with Yorkshire. And then, yeah, the summon circle teleported us to our laboratory. Lord Orshiro, he he's listening intently and he raises an eyebrow because he is he too has heard the rumor of Koldar having Tioga, but you guys saying this, he's believing you. Renak was in the laboratory too. So let me get this straight. I, I want to make sure that I have the order of these occurrences precisely accurate. You received the mission to Slay spotted Yaksha at Mule Ruins by Mizuno Amari. She teleported you there. You were supposed to meet with Ashino Ruri with a couple of other soldiers there, which you have did. You know what you did. You're saying you found Yaksha in the sewers of the Mule Ruins. From there, things got worse. More Yaksha came. You found a summoning circle beneath the ruins, correct? Correct. And at that point, you're saying the ruins was bombarded by Yaksha, special Yaksha, not just rat Yaksha, correct? Yaksha you've never seen before in your life. Yep, I'll be it. And then you came across (laughs) experiments that they were performing on our soldiers, yes? Using the power of the only Omni. And from there, somehow you were teleported to Tawny Fortress. And that's where you came across this lab, which you saw the Koldarians changing people into these beast-like creatures with Yaksha powers. Oh, now that you mention that, let me, let me show you something. He, unsl- he reaches behind him and unslings a uh, wrapped, something wrapped, and he tosses the turtle's head at his foot. <laughs> I'll look, take a gander of that. He looks down at it. You say it's wrapped up still? It was wrapped up. Oh, it was. Okay. He looks down at the, the head. And he just... He winces as he leans back. Oh, it stinks. Yeah, it's been ripe for a while. Uh, he looks down at it. That is the head of one of the Yaksha you slayed, yes? Looks like a I... turtle. Yeah, it was. Was that one of the soldiers, or was that just one of the people they experimented on? That was one of the soldiers that was transformed in front of us by a scientist and General Ranok. These damned Kuldarians, they're by the Omni Kami. This, should... this is blasphemy. This should even be allowed. Oh, my uh, there's, some... there's something that might shock you even more. General Ranok was asking us to join him. Saying he was going after Mordecai himself. 
you you grab his attention almost immediately. What what do you mean? Going after Moritai itself, the god of the void? They want to destroy Yaksha as well. Which doesn't make any sense because they're making them. That's what I'm saying. They, <laughs> they want to destroy Mori Tai, the source of the Yaksha. Yet they're attacking and waging war upon the other nations and creating Yaksha. Is that what you're saying? Uh, he folds his, hand, his arms. He places his right hand under his chin. He begins to think for a moment. Like you said, that makes no sense. Why wouldn't they just ally, ally themselves with the rest of us? We all try to stop Moritai. The only Kami couldn't even do it. What makes them think they can? Well, the they fact that they have failed. The fact that you say they have Tioga, I believe you on that. I'm still shocked that they were able, able, even able to capture an Omni Kami. I don't even know how you would do that. They are gods. Mortals of the power of the Omni Kami is not something to be trifled with. The Omni Kami have powers of the gods because they are gods. Mortals do not, should not, ever have that kind of power. Uh, we agree. Yeah, what do you mean? Did they speak about how they captured Tioga? Did you see Tioga? It yeah. Was in that tube. He was in a tube? Yeah. In a tube. He was corrupted, it looked like. Lord Orsher, he he looks confused, worried, troubled, <laughs> bewildered, just, bewildered, everything you could think of, <laughs> and he's he goes silent for a moment. You keep this between us. You hear me? Lord kind of looks around. Right, right. Can <laughs> I get the head back? Listen, <laughs> listen. I don't care if people will know what happened at the Mule Ruins. That's going to happen. That's that information's already out there. I can tell you this. But specifically what you saw at Tawny Fortress, you keep that to yourselves. Do not speak of it in public. Do you understand me? If if the population of Shimada was to find out that Tioga truthfully was captured, do you know how much of an uproar that would be? Uh, Absolutely. Sir? Yes, Roar Royce. Uh, I might have made a little mistake. What the hell did you do? <laughs> he looks at you and he places both of his hands down on his desk. He leans forward. Answer Hota. What did you do, Roy? Uh, I was trying to find out about these purple crystals. He pulls out the other one he had. And I spoke to one of your alchemists and may have told a little bit information that we just discussed. He places his hand on his forehead. He lets out a sigh. <sighs> Very well. I'll make sure that that alchemist does not spread this information. I'm assuming you going to kill her? No. I might have to. <laughs> I'm, not going no. to I'm not going to kill her, but you never know. These Koldarians found a way into the Miwa ruins. We could have spies amongst our ranks. All you right, have why to are you be everyone our business? You have to be careful with this kind of information. Well, you have to think about it. All of our military might are at the western borders. There is no way they could have slipped by without there being spies, or even worse, traitors amongst our military staff. You have to think about this stuff, Roy. I'm sorry, sir. He looks down in shame. Oh, I could feel the dagger in me back. Already. <laughs> and he's, he just lets out a sigh. Do not speak of this to anyone else. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He lets out a sigh. I believe I know who you're speaking of. I will speak with her myself. But is there anything else you wish to tell me as he's, as he's, he's rubbing his forehead, trying to come up with the solutions of what to do at this current moment? The others, the other generals of the Alliance must know about what's happening here. Is there anything else you can think of that you might have forgotten to tell me? Hmm. Uh. And before we continue, we interrupt this campaign with breaking information just for you adventurers. I love smoothies, but I don't love smoothie bar prices. With my BlendJet 2 portable blender, I can make smoothie bar quality beverages for a fraction of the price. 
BlendJet 2 is portable, so you can blend up a smoothie at work, a protein shake at the gym, or even a margarita on the beach. It's small enough to fit in a cup holder, but powerful enough to blast through tough ingredients like ice and frozen fruit with ease. BlendJet 2 is whisper quiet, so you can make your morning smoothie without waking up the whole house. It lasts for 15 plus blends and recharges quickly via USB-C. Best of all, BlendJet 2 cleans itself. Just blend water with a drop of soap and you are good to go. And with over 30 colors and patterns to choose from, there's a BlendJet 2 to complement just about any style. Just like Rogar, I rock the champagne metallic because I'm a certified badass. Well, maybe not as much as Rogar, but y'all get the point. What are you waiting for? Go to BlendJet.com and grab yours today. And be sure to use promo code TAVERNSCAVERNS12 to get 12% off your order and free two-day shipping. No other portable blender on the market comes close to the quality, power, and innovation of the BlendJet 2. They guarantee you'll love it or your money back. Blend anytime, anywhere with the BlendJet 2 portable blender. Go to BlendJet.com and use the code TAVERNSCAVERNS12 to get 12% off your order and free two-day shipping. Shop today and get the best deal ever. And with that being said, let us now continue with our adventure. Oh, we question. saw Dear God. Oh, yeah. That was cool. You, you saw the Omni Kami, Phias, the great deer spirit. Yeah, the, he was not happy about the Aksha. Of course he wasn't. The Omni Kami despised the Aksha and Muay Thai itself. What did you see, Phias? We were surrounded by Kodama. Where? A tawny in fortress. Forest. In Hirai Forest. Yeah, it was the Hirai Forest. He saved you then? Yes. To be blessed by Phias himself, one of the Omni Kami. That is a rare feat. You have my respects. Hell yeah. And he it was- showed up and turned a uh, Garo, I think that was his name, turn him back into land, vines, trees. Did, did Faya speak with you directly? Did you speak with the Omnikami? No. Hmm. Right? No. no. It showed up. It said, bow your heads and shut up. <laughs> and then it walked <laughs> Look away. Look upon me. <laughs> Look upon my grace. Yep. Interesting. If Fias was in Hirai Forest, that means he must know what's going on near that area. But if they were able to capture Tiogo, that is not good for Fias. I'll have more of my men inspect this Hirai Forest. We cannot allow them to capture the deer spirit. Especially if they are using the Omnikami to create these Yaksha. Uh, surely uh, they don't have the strength to take down the deer spirit. Surely. That's what you would have said with Tioga as well. But they have Tioga somehow. Uh, oh, I think that was a fluke. Mm. To be honest. Well, we can't take anything lightly, my friends. Well, oh. that's... He looks with, at Roy. With everything that's going on, I can't remember everything we said. Did we mention about the babies? Babies? The little child with the eye and the the, the, scree- the screeching. Uh, oh, oh, the screeching. The thing in the crate. I still don't know what that was. That was oh, a- there was a baby you set on fire. You set a, fi- <laughs> you set a baby on fire? What? <laughs> it was it's inside not- the chest of all. It's not what you think. It was way past saving. That was the Yorkshire. This was the Double Tawny Fortress side. or the ruins? The, the ruins, sir. So these were part of the Yaksha that invaded, then? Yes, sir. Dear gods, what is going on? The Koldarians are experimenting on babies now? Is that what you're saying? No, yeah. it was, uh... Was it a child and there was something in its chest? I, I don't even know what to... I don't even know how to depict this in my head. I, don't, I wouldn't. <laughs> powerful, I'm assuming. I'm sure we'll probably see this sometime in the future on, on the battlefield. What I kind hope of, not. What kind no, of powers did it have? Uh, it can take fire pretty well. We watched it burn until it stopped moving. Okay, fire resistance at most. 
Anything else these creatures did? It died. <laughs> you don't know. We, we uh, took care of the bit. We took care of business. Very well. I'll make note of that, and I will make sure to tell my captains of such a creature. What else did it do? It died. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there were more. We didn't I... give it a chance. I thought there were more. There could right? be more. There were more. Were there? Yes. Yeah, there were more. I don't remember. Oh. So I much remembers. <laughs> <laughs> he wishes he didn't, but he does. The Royal was crying in that corner. He was. <laughs> He's scarred. So as you tell him all this, he lets out a sigh. Oh. Well, I thank you for this information. I thank you for your deeds and your actions. What you have done these last couple of days, in this last, in this last week or so, you have proven yourselves to be capable. Honorable warriors of Shimada. Honorable purifiers. Unfortunately, my time here is up. I am a busy man, as you all know. I am overseeing the war here on the Western Front, and I have to continue to get back to my planning and the strategies at hand. Currently, the need for your services are at the moment no longer needed here with the military. You are purifiers, after all, not soldiers of the Shimaran military. You will find yourselves tasked with your next mission. However, that is not for me to do. Give. That is for Mizuno Omari. She awaits for you at her tent outside the walls of this keep. Meet with her after you meet with me, and she will give you your next mission as purifiers. Unfortunately, this is where we have to depart. Thank you for all of the assistance you have provided us. And if we do ever call upon you again, I will do so personally. Is there anything? Oh, yes. Before you do leave, you did come across allies of ours in Hirai Forest. Uh, the refugees of Aloria, yes? Uh, Are they yeah. okay? The leader, Ekiras himself. Many of them were able to escape the cove before the attack. Most of them made it out alive. Can't say all of them did. There were casualties, unfortunately, but most of them did escape. They are still in Hirai Forest in another location. But they did survive, and I thought I'd let you know. Oh, thank the gods. I, mm -hmm. How is Ashina? Unfortunately, she is under careful watch. She has lost her arm. And as a warrior and a fellow samurai, she's unable to... She's going to be unable to wield her katana or her naginata like she used to without her arm. Lori just looks in shock. She's currently being watched over by some of the clerics here. Fortress. Don't think she is currently available to, to speak with. I, I feel she still needs her rest, so I would avoid attempting to see her at this current time. But again, I will call upon you if I need your services again. But for now, purifiers, you have more jobs to do by protecting our nation from the Yaksha. Go see Gatmizuno Amari outside the gates. She will give you your next mission. Thank you for everything you have done. All Bye. Right. Thank you, sir. Literally bows. We're leaving. All right, have a good one. So <laughs> as you all leave... <laughs> You, you find yourselves being let out of the, the, the main building of the keep, and the soldier looks at you. You all have a good one now. And at this point, you guys have some time before, if you want to go to, straight to Mizuno Omari, that's up to you. But she's outside the keep where all a bunch of the merchants and stuff are. That's where her tent is. And you guys can do whatever as a group before going to her, or you can go to her right away. It's up to you. What are we will ask if we can stop and get a shield before we head over? Was well, Ashina? I'd rather go there. You said not alone. Leave her She's alone. got trauma. She's yeah. she needs time. That no. whole meeting was us just rebringing up fresh trauma. No yeah. one asked if we were okay. Right. But Ashina lost an arm and a friend. She lost friends. two friends. Oh. oh. Pure sight of my face should cheer her up right no, quick. That's definitely gonna make her go crazy. Let's not do that. <laughs> ah, I beg the differ. 
Well, you can beg to differ all you want, but you'll still be wrong. Ouch. <laughs> Fair enough. You know what? You do you, pal. I don't you know about you guys, you. but I'm pissed. What's we wrong? We can... What do you mean what's wrong? We can't let them get away with this. Look around. Nothing's okay. We gotta go. Get our next mission fucking stat. Damn. All right. Okay. All right. Lead the uh, way. I was just wanted to get a shield before before we did. Weren't you at the store already? <laughs> <laughs> Someone go with him and make sure he keeps his mouth shut this time. <laughs> uh, I think I'll go with you. <laughs> oh, my head is. Yeah, I'll be walking with you. We'll make sure you stay a little silent on this one. Sorry, I thought we could trust them. Trust who? The, 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 the answer's no serious. one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. As, oh, sorry. As the four of you are standing there, you all see a large figure walking towards the party. Oh, where on, the sunlight go? On the large figure. Yeah, the sunlight. Sunlight <laughs> begins to slowly vanish. You see this overshadow just towering over you all. And you look to the side and you see these small, tiny glasses on the, on the nose of an ogre. It's Oma. He's walking Oma. towards you. Hello! It's going to hug his leg. What are you doing? Bro. Oh, I missed you, buddy. Oh, I missed you too, Hota. I just saw you not that long ago. Ah, uh, long enough. How are you all doing? Omog wants to come and say hello. Because it's been, you know, a good while since we really had a good conversation. I wanted to make sure my friends were okay. Omog, I wish you were with us. At the Miwa ruins? Everywhere. Oh, you wish Omog to be with you? Is it because <laughs> Omog is strong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did Roroi get knocked down as many times as he did at the lake? At Lake Narono? No. Remember uh, when he was on the boat by himself? He got knocked down like four times. <laughs> mm, <laughs> never gonna live that down, am I? When I appeared on the battlefield with Mizuno Amari and Lord Oshiro, you were knocked out on the floor, Roroi. General Renak, was that him that did that to you? Yeah. You got I'm... fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. he lives to tell the tale. Look, Omog is not making fun. General Renak is very strong. Omog does not think he could take on General Renak. No, no, no. No, he couldn't. No, Omog, you couldn't. <laughs> I think we all learned that lesson. Hmm. Well, Omog is kind of hungry. Mizuno Amari is looking for you, but she does not demand your presence right away. You all want to come with Omog? Maybe get some food? Maybe talk a little bit? Yeah, we need to level up before we fight Renak again, and then we can whoop his fucking ass! Oh my, Jesus. Oh, he'll get his. Don't you worry. Ooh. Well, come with Omog. There is very good, very, very good cook outside the fortress with merchants. He knows okay. how to make delicious dumplings. Omog wants some dumplings. You oh, want dumplings? dumplings. That sounds good. Ooh, they, yep. have, they have dim sum. They have sushi. They have everything. Food does cheer me up. Exactly. And Omog is here now. Let us talk in over some delicious food. I heard, Roy, you're looking for shield, yes? Maybe one of the merchants nearby can sell you one. Yeah, I, I, I would like that. Okay, come with Omog. And that's where we'll end this episode of Taverns and Caverns. Thanks again for listening to another exciting episode of Taverns and Caverns, everyone. If you enjoyed our shenanigans, we ask that you please leave us ratings and reviews on Apple iTunes or any other podcast platform that you use. Also, please be sure to check out the Taverns and Caverns Patreon for exclusive content that you won't want to miss. You can find me on Twitter at HaphazardDM. Yo, I'm Bri. I play Stella. And you can follow me on Twitter at Blaze underscore Nancy Bride King or NBK. I am Robert Jones and I played Hota Lu Bay. Uh, you can find me on YouTube, uh, Truebone, T R U B O N E. I'm Felicia and I play Yome. You can find me on Insta or Twitter at Dagger Tribal. 
I'm Rod or Rodimus playing Roroy Rice. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Rodimus7901 or at uh, Instagram at Rodimus83. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Those are all of our players and our cast members for Taverns of Cavern Season 2. Until next time, take care. <laughs>